Hi there, and welcome to 3D Motive. My name is Ashley Thundercliffe, a 3D environment artist. Today I'm going to talk you through how we create complex floral designs using 3ds Max and ZBrush. This tutorial is for people who already have a good understanding of the user interface and basic modeling tools in 3ds Max and ZBrush, and is intended to further your current modeling knowledge. To begin with, we're going to take an image of a ceiling rose and break it down into simpler shapes. This is going to help us understand how a ceiling rose is constructed and help identify what exactly we need to produce for the final model. We then move on to creating the main base of our rose using simple primitives and turbo smooth techniques, and then move on to the more complex tiling trim pieces that go around the outer section of the ceiling rose. After we have our main base and trim sections complete, we will then move on to the modular kit bash parts which will decorate the rows. This section will use both 3ds Max and ZBrush. With all parts complete, we will then move on to the final construction of the ceiling rows and make use of the various deformation modifiers available to help fit the shapes to the base of the rows. Once the modeling is complete, we can then take the final model into ZBrush to create a clean singular mesh and add the final damage and wear details to the model. I hope you enjoy this tutorial and thanks for choosing 3D Motive.